from this to this into this. Let's start by creating our new document by pressing Command or Ctrl N. Next, we're going to add a narrow rectangle covering the full height of the canvas. Fill this with a black and white horizontal gradient, where the black will start from the left. Now, we're going to power duplicate this rectangle by using the command or Ctrl J until we fill the whole canvas. Let's group all the rectangles and resize the group so it fits within the canvas. Then, I'm going to rotate the gradients group with 45 degrees. Time to add our text. Make sure you have a nice thick font. For the color, I'm going to use dark purple. As you might have guessed, we're going to use a live displacement filter to create the effect. In the filter dialog, choose load map from layers beneath. Now we can move the slider to get the desired effect we want. When I hide the gradient group, we can see the result. In this case, I think the refraction is too much. So I'm going to delete the filter, enable the group and enlarge it so that there will be less refraction. Let's now apply the displacement filter to the text and try again. Perfect, that looks much better. And I think this looks about right. I'm going to make the font a bit fatter to get a more balanced result. Awesome. Optionally, we can now add some color to it. To do that, I'm going to add a pixel layer and make it a child of the text layer. Then, with the brush tool, I'm going to paint random light colors diagonally following the same angle as the refraction. Once the paint job is done, I will change the blend mode of the pixel layer to color dodge. And there you have it. Because we work non-destructively, we can easily change the text. Pretty cool. Hope you like this quick effect and thanks again for tuning in. Until the next video.